Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and in this video I will discuss how we can integrate Microsoft Power Automate or Flow Step in Business Process Flows, right? And also I will discuss how we can integrate that uh, flow step in any stages of a business process flow, right? because we have a capability that we can also add flow step or power automate step inside a, a business process flow stage uh, step right so how we can call that so let us see so first we have to remember that to add a flow as a step in a stage of a business process flow you have to create a solution first because solution aware power automate or solution aware flows can only be take part in as a step in uh, in a business process flow stage right so first thing first so let us go here and create a new solution i am creating a new solution let's say call uh, flow from business process flow right so i am just giving a name call flow from bpf and select a uh, publisher as per your wish then create okay now i want to edit this business process flow i, I want to just call a flow step uh, here in this qualify stage so that on demand someone can click that to initiate that flow to uh, to have some logic right so let me go here and uh, my solution is created i will go to my solution and i will add a new flow right i will click on this click on cloud flow okay so click on cloud flow so that i can create a new cloud flow and add into my solution that is our first stage right anytime you uh, want to integrate anytime you want to use flow as a step uh, in a existing in an existing business process flow or a new business process flow you should create a solution first then you have to create uh, a flow inside that solution give a name here send email for example i am giving a name send email to lead for example you can give a name of your choice right there is no restriction now here you you want to use uh, microsoft dataverse as the trigger once you choose that you will see there is a step called as when a flow step is run from a business process flow this is the trigger you have to use so that the uh, the flow the power automate that you will design here can be called as a step okay now the trigger is identified next you want to create a step add a step to do your action i want to send an email to the lead record because uh, this stage is associated with lead stage so this qualify stage is associated with lead record and i want to send an email to the leads email using uh, on demand flow right instant flow so i will go here and choose a step called as send email let me use gmail connector i want to send an email using gmail for example you can do any action here right so you would send email right now before the send email as because this flow is executed from the business process flow you have to identify which entity uh, is in context of business process flow stage here you can see the qualify stage is in context of my lead entity right so i have to go here and choose another action here you have to use microsoft dataverse and use a action called as get row by id and when you use uh, 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 table uh, get row by id you have to use the entity information here i want to read lead information where is the id the id will be collected from this first trigger right so the trigger is called as bpf so here you will find bpf table bpf flow stage table row id right so this is the bpf flow stage table row id is nothing but the primary key or the row id of that lead record now this stage this action will read the details uh, information from the lead entity whose id is flow stage table id right and this is passed from the 
flow stage itself now once i have all the details about the lead entity i can use the information of the lead record using this step now i can go here and uh, use email uh, using dynamic content here is my row id get a row by id this is the step here you can rename this so that for your convenient uh, lead info okay now so that whenever you click this and click on advanced uh, click on add dynamic content you can see the step here and here you can choose the email id of the lead so from where it is retrieved it is retrieved from the uh, lead info stage step and uh, by passing the bpf flow stage record id from the trigger okay now i can add the email now the subject i want to add let's say uh, welcome uh, i'm just write down welcome on board and i want to dynamically mention the first name and last name of the lead so i can just write down here first name then space last name right and in the body i can write down something hello thanks for your interest we are happy to help you so you can uh, mention anything in the body as you want you can also specify dynamic informations here okay if you want to mention the first name and last name here also or email id or annual revenue whatever uh, column that you want to use in the body as a part of your uh, email then you can use because the lead info stage is having all the information about the lead right so once the email is done i can click on save and once it is saved once it is saved we have to do another step to update the uh, update the post uh, update the process log status so that it will make the flow completed so click on new step go to here use process log you just use uh, data force first and here search update a record update a row and here you have to search the table called as process log because every process process uh, is stored in the process log if you go down you will find process logs and in the process log entity you have to pass the process log id so here you can search process id so this is the uh, bpf instance uh, process id let me search here Give the process associated with business instance i'll just come down uh, pro stage and table row id no not this one instant name definition name step id so it is the process id so i have to take this stage id business process flow step id right otherwise you can take also this process id right now i can update the status as succeeded right now save this now once it is saved first stage is completed we have created a solution we have added this uh, uh, solution aware flow to my solution if i'll go here you can find here now i want to edit the business process flow so I will go to again to the solution and add existing and choose the uh, existing process once you choose the existing process you can search here the business process flow the name of the business process flow is lead to opportunity sales so copy this and go back here search this it is lead So 
so when you search lead it will give you the business process flow lead to opportunity sales process click on add now it will be added here so this is the business process flow right now you have to open this because i want to edit that business process flow to add that um, flow as a step right okay guys here we have to change the process side because we are updating the process log so we have to use this flow workflow log id okay not this process id so there is a small correction so use this flows workflow log id so that we can update it succeeded so save it in the meantime and it is it is still loading on the uh, business process flow let me close this and again open this now once it is loaded you can see i can go to this lead stage and you can see there are all you know data steps are available here if you see you can check that we have uh, seven data steps here also you have seven data steps now i want to add this flow step which is in preview right now this flow step uh, component or composition is used to call a solution aware flow or power automate from business process flow so drag and drop here i want to start i want to place in the end of this stage okay i want to put it in the last yes i have put here now once you, we add here i can specify a name here let's say um, email emailer okay emailer flow i can give a name here and here if you click this select a flow it will give you all that row all that steps that are designed as a solution aware uh, to uh, to call as a flow step my name name of my uh, flow is send email to lead right now i can go here and use that there are two it is displaying right now click on this lookup more record to, to find out the correct one if someone has already created then you should not uh, use that so you can see the created on today's uh, uh, 5th july so i can use this one this one someone created last time so i can use this one and click add once it is added you can click on apply now we have done the changes click on update once you update it will publish your business process flow so that uh, we can check that business process flow in action in lead entity okay let us wait till it uh, publishes the business process flow Now once it is published published i can go back and try to refresh this because i want to see if the qualify stage showing that flow or not now this is my lead entity and the lead table is uh, loaded for me i want to uh, go to the first stage and associate some information then i want to use the send email operation that is called in as a flow right now this is my email id let me change the email id let me choose spppmaster.gmail.com and save it and i want to ignore and save okay so i have updated the email id now i will go to the qualify if you see here there is a emailer flow right this is the step that i have added here right this is the emailer step flow i have associated this flow here and you will see there is a button available for me to click right now always remember that uh, if you have uh, you have used the email of the lead to send an email the email should be there otherwise there will be error now click on the run button now once you run 
click on run button the flow will run immediately and it will prompt you that whether you are ready to uh, uh, trigger the flow or not then with this prompt you have to click on the continue if in the flow there is other connectors used it will ask you to per provide your permission the gmail is used in my uh, flow that's why it is asking to use my credential it is used click on continue as soon as you you click on continue you can click on run flow so that it will immediately start kicking the run now it, you can see it is showing processing that means the uh, workflow the flow step is running and in the meantime after the uh, um, after the steps are succeeded it will make it succeeded right it will change to succeeded now i will go here and check if it is running or not go back go back to check the last running status now it is succeeded if i'll go here to check it is still processing okay now i can go here and to check if it is succeeded properly or not now it is executed lead information received it sent an email to respective uh, lead right i also can check my gmail to check that if i received that email or not so here i got this email welcome on board and the email id right the email information now here i can see that uh, the if, if i refresh this lead this status will be uh, changed to succeeded right let me click on qualify now see the status is succeeded now this is how we can call a power automate as a step from a entity from an entity in dataverse as a step flow step from a business process flow stage right so always remember one thing you have to use uh, a, st a flow step as a step and you have to use solution to create your uh, to create your uh, flow and you have to use to update step so that you can update the uh, process uh, uh, log information so that it will display as a success if you do not use that last step as a update it will always always show processing although the steps are completed right so this is important so thank you for your time i hope you can learn something uh, how to integrate flow step as from um, business process flow you can work in your um, projects now you can leverage your uh, flow to do any type of task okay and also if you have not subscribed subscribe my channel and if you want to join as a member uh, join my channel because i am creating technical videos in dynamics and uh, power platform space thank you guys cheers and see you in next video